well 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 the day has came we are going to try out this new response controller um this is the off off knockoff version of the pedal commander this one is way cheaper it's a third of the price a hundred dollars for this one three hundred dollars for the pedal commander now from the reviews i keep seeing they say this lays down the same numbers as the pedal commander it's just the same it's cheaper so in this video we're gonna find out is this actually worth your money this is a evec car throttle response controller it's like an off version of the pedal commander this was only a hundred bucks save you some money not 300 um this is a toyota tacoma 2013 uh 2.7 but this thing just it it's gutless it needs it needs a little bit more it needs more power so uh we're gonna do a zero to 60 and before and after all right guys obviously it's not plugged in yet so we're gonna do a zero to 30 and zero to 60 time to see if it actually makes any difference i don't know i think it's gonna make a difference of both but i think zero to 30 is gonna be the major one but um we will uh set up the cameras and we will get rolling all right guys we're at a dead stop and three two one If you guys can really see the dash good on here. Man, it's truck slow. <laughs> see what I'm saying, guys? It needs it needs more juice. It doesn't want to get out of its way. And there. And we'll do one more run just to be fair. Three, two, one. A little bit more this time. That's the thing with these with this gas pedal. It's uh it sends an electric current to your throttle body and it lets it, it, it its own self you know decides how much it's gonna open and there so uh we're gonna go back we're gonna throw that thing in i'll show you guys the install and how i do it and um we'll come back out here and we'll see if it lays any new numbers down see if the money's worth it if the hype's worth it we'll find out all right guys so let's open up the box and see what we got Looks like it's a pretty simple install from what I keep seeing. So, let's see here. This comes out. There's your adhesive for your dash. Let's see what this these instructions say here. Supposedly it's a unplug, plug and play type deal. But from what I heard, you're supposed to walk your keys away. Your fob is not supposed to be around it. So... I'll read into it and I'll get back with you guys. All right, step one, turn off the ignition. It's not even on, so we're ahead of the game already. Take your keys 35 feet away for five minutes to give everything a chance to power down. So you're just gonna take these and, <clears throat> no, no, we'll walk them 35 feet. All right, guys, it also says make sure it doesn't work. Doesn't work. Drop them, let's go install this thing. All right, guys, first step, Unplug this from the top of your gas pedal. There's two prongs on each side. You just squeeze them. So, first step's done. Now it says to take this bad girl. Let me unravel all this. All right. Then as the box says, you're going to plug the Evec car, whatever you call that, into the pedal. And then the other end goes into your stock plug-in now you can't do it backwards guys so don't worry about it one's a male one's a female so make sure you when you do it make sure they click so they're all the way in now i'm going to run this wire up here and i'll show you where i stick it on my dash all right i'm going back to get the keys i will show you guys how i tuck my wire and where i put my remote switch um it's different for people that have two-wheel drive i'll show you where you should put it if you have two-wheel drive the better it looks better it's all around better uh here's the keys right here the um the instruction says that if you do have a uh, warranty on your vehicle to try and hide the the remote so they can't see it they said once they, they if they plug in their computer that doesn't pick up either so they said that will avoid your warranty so they said you don't have to unplug it just hide the remote but I ain't had warranty since I got the truck. So anyways, I'll show you guys where I put it. All right, guys, 
So I tucked it all the way behind all that stuff, all the way to the back. She runs up here and she sticks right there. If you have two wheel drive, you should put it right here. That's ideal. And I've, I've seen someone stick it right here before on their two wheel drive. All right, here's the first initial startup. See if anything happens. Oh, snap. She, thrown, she was just going crazy on us. I'm gonna guess this is the on and off button. Okay, we're in city mode. Sport. Eco. Okay, so eco is the slowest from what I'm hearing. And then this is what mode. Let's just go ahead and go into baby mode. Let's go into complete baby mode and see. Eh, okay, it definitely is sluggish in that mode. It just feels a little bit weaker than it used to. So I'm going to say this thing's going to wake this truck up, but uh, I'll catch you guys on the road. Guys, I found out for eco mode, you have to hold down the button. Because when you switch over, it goes to all these and it restarts there. So eco, hold. And let's go ahead and put it in mode. Let's just put it in mode four and see what it does. I'm gonna imagine this is stock, maybe, I don't know. So uh, let's go ahead, let's see. All right, ready? Three, two, one. It feels about stock. Actually, no, this is slower. This is slower than stock for sure. This is, hey, and that's something I wanted to mention in this video, so it has eco mode. Um, if you guys want, I can do a full video on talking about trying saving gas and see if, how much gas I can save with the eco mode. Yeah, this is definitely slow. We're not even at 60 yet. It's very slow. But if it's saving gas, then I'll let it pass. You know what I'm saying? All right, fellas, let's uh, let's switch into a different mode. I'm not even going to time that one. That, that's just, that's embarrassing. All right, fellas. Let's not play around no more. Let's get straight to business. So we're gonna switch over to Sport Plus, all the way mode four. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Okay, I can feel it right now. There's definitely a lot more responsive right now. And we're almost there. Almost there. 60. Um, oh, oh, wow. Oh, hold on a second. You really notice it up in the higher. Holy cow. Okay, no, now I really notice it. It's a big difference now. Wow. Okay, from a stop, guys, I mean, you can barely, f it, you can feel it's maybe hair p amped up, but, um, I'll give you an example, like when I'm getting on an on-ramp and I'm trying to speed up, I don't really, it just, it's just sluggish. Um, I can definitely feel a difference. And as soon as you get like to 60, it comes a lot. But uh, zero to 60, I don't really feel much of a dip. Oh, okay. I don't know, man, it's weird. It's touchy. Because when I hit it, it definitely is a lot more responsive. It's a, I'm barely even pushing the gas. I'm just breathing on it. It's a lot more responsive than it used to be. Let's do one more run to uh, get an accurate time. And we shall see if it really does make a difference. I'd imagine it shaves a second or two off. I don't see why it wouldn't. You know, it's it's definitely more responsive for sure. Okay, well, let's see. Zero, three, two, one. That's mash, by the way. Still in sport plus mode, number four. Oh, okay. Now, I, you, it's so weird. It's kind of, it's touchy when it wants to be. Again, I've been matched the whole time. And 60. Okay. Dude, you really feel when you get past 60, though. I can really tell there's something going on with the truck. Holy crap. Yeah, it's, dude, it freaking, it hauls once you get past 60. What a difference. So, uh, I mean, all in all, guys, I'd have to do some driving around town and stuff 
you know, to really tell you, hey, is it 100% worth it? But from, uh, I mean, it's touchy. From a stop, I don't really feel much. It's not crazy difference, but when you're rolling, you, when you're rolling, you can tell it's totally, you know what I'm saying? But uh, no, it's definitely way more responsive right now. Yeah, I would not have acted like this before. So um, I haven't tried any of the other modes yet. We haven't tried city or sport. So let's do a little bit of playing around in those modes and see if we see any difference. All right, guys, off-road, I definitely feel a massive difference. Um, it is way more touchy. It is way more touchy off-road. Let's switch to, let's go city, city four. All right, and let's see what the difference makes here. All right. Let's go. Three, two, one. Um, it's picking up a little bit quicker than usual. Oh yeah, for sure. Again, man, it makes the difference higher for some weird reason. I really kind of wish I made it lower, but it's all the difference I'm seeing is higher. There's 60 there. So that's where the difference is coming. Um, it's definitely making a world of a difference in the, in the faster we go. But uh, let's switch it into sport. Let's see what sport does. All right, guys. So we are in sport four. Let's see. Okay, hold on a second. Three, two, one. Again, about, still feels about the same off the line. There it goes. It just picked, you know, that's weird. It didn't, like I said, it never did that before. So it's kind of picking up as we're and almost 60, 60. I can definitely see this coming in handy, like for highway and stuff like that. But I mean, I, I haven't really tried pulling anything with it. I don't know if it'll make a difference there. Um, because, you know, if you're moving around a heavy trailer or something, I'm sure it'll make a difference if you put it in Sport Plus or something. They say they don't recommend you being in Sport Plus unless you're trying to race or going off road or something. But I can definitely feel a massive difference, guys, with this thing. Um, I like it so far. I mean, I, I don't think it's anything crazy, but I can tell you right now, you can definitely feel a, a difference when you're, as soon as you hit 60, you can feel a massive difference from there on. It does not have that pool stock. I can assure you that. All right, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up today's video. Um, I want to add in there what I noticed when I got back was if you mash the pedal down it doesn't really have much of a difference when you feather into the pedal it you can really feel it then um i was even switching on the drive back while i was driving i don't know if it's good or bad and probably shouldn't do it but i was switching from modes like i was switching from city to sport to sport plus while i was driving and just a click of the button from it switching and i had my foot on the same amount of pressure on the pedal it picked up so i mean definitely a big difference i'm shocked to see it didn't make any difference in the time i would expect at least a second or two to be shaved off but um all in all i mean i'm happy with it it definitely makes a world of a difference probably around town trying to pull out of spots and stuff trying to get in front of a car or just get out of harm's way it probably definitely works there just from the little bit of testing i did around here just pulling and round, uh, you know, U-turns and stuff. I can feel a world of a difference. And the grass, like in the off-road and stuff, you can feel it there too. I recommend it for a hundred bucks. I think it's definitely a good upgrade to have for these trucks. These trucks are just sluggish to begin with. They're not the. They're definitely not the fastest trucks um, out there. That's that's for damn sure. But uh, yeah, I mean, for a hundred bucks, it's worth it to me. But uh, if you guys like today's video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for some uh, off-road stuff coming up. We got some dirt bike builds. We got some side-by-side -side content. We're going to be out there. So uh, 
Make sure you guys leave a like. Thank you for watching.